Crazy Pixel. Hey everybody and welcome to this episode of Noisy Pixels Top Lists. We will cover our top 5 favorite game spin-offs. Just so everyone knows, these games are chosen by survey in which the entire Noisy staff votes and debates to unanimously decide which games win. Let's get right to our number 5 pick. Placed in at number 5 we have Fire Emblem and Hyrule Warriors. While there are two Warriors games stemming from two beloved Nintendo IP, we couldn't only put one on the list. Both Fire Emblem Warriors and Hyrule Warriors offer widely unique experiences when compared to the likes of Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors. We're excited to see this collaboration between Koei Tecmo and Nintendo expand in the future and what potential games may come next. Voted in at number 4, we have Nier Series. Nier Automata is one of the best games of this console generation, full stop giving hack and slash fans satisfying moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and a storyline that tugs directly at your heartstrings. If you're unaware, Nier Automata and its not-so-critically acclaimed predecessor Nier, also known as Nier Gestalt in Japan, are spin-offs of the Dragonguard series. Automata, in particular, has given gaming one of its most prolific icons in 2B. While Automata had a pretty conclusive ending, we're hoped to see Yokotaro and Platinum Games dive into the universe again. Coming up for number 3, Noisy Pixel has chosen Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. Out of all the Final Fantasy VII spin-offs, Crisis Core stands the test of time with its gripping story shedding light on the events that transpired before Final Fantasy VII. The main protagonist, Zack, makes for a far more interesting protagonist than Cloud and his relationship with Aerith is as lovable as it is heartbreaking. While the combat in Crisis Core is a bit odd, it's still a ton of fun to dive into. We're all hoping Zack gets some nods in the upcoming Final Fantasy VII Remake. In second place, Paper Mario. It's not all that said that Super Mario RPG is probably never coming back. An unforgettable spin on the iconic plumber and the Mushroom Kingdom. While the series has stagnated with some more forgettable entries, the original Paper Mario, as well as the Thousand Year Door, are two of the best RPGs developed by Nintendo. Perhaps soon Paper Mario will make a comeback in full force on Nintendo Switch. Please. And lastly, winning Noisy Pixel's game spin-off vote, Pokemon Snap. Last but certainly not least, a title that was unanimously a favorite amongst nearly every Noisy Pixel staff member, Pokemon Snap. Well done. Pokemon Snap is easily the most casual game on this list, but nevertheless, it's widely regarded as one of the most unique takes on the Pokemon IP. If you're having a bad day or want to play something a little more relaxing, there's nothing quite like going through one of Pokemon Snap's many levels to take some pictures of really cool monsters. Back in the day, Pokemon Snap gave us some sense of the greater world we were exploring, allowing us to see how Pokemon lived in tall grass and dark caverns, but the lasting imprint Pokemon Snap left with all of us was huge. Unfortunately, the series has been dormant since its first entry on Nintendo 64 so we'll have to just settle for the pictures we can take in Pokemon Go. Hello YouTube and thank you for watching our second episode of Top List. I hope you liked it. If you have any ideas, just like I said last time, even though we didn't go with it, leave it in the comments, drop it below. We will definitely read it and consider it every time. This is gonna be a monthly thing, but thank you for watching. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers that work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.